father, Sandra, and some unknown auntie huddle over a bowl of flour. I have watched them perform the ceremony of slapping and patting and smoothing and shaping and kneading flour into tortillas. I've been invited to join them many times in this ceremony, this ritual, but someone must be sacrificed. Being the small and tender me who was giving them the impression that I don't eat enough anyways, I am schoolgirl shamed into the kitchen. My hands sweat at the sight of the flour. I'm not cut out to be a Latina. You see, this looks so much easier when I was over there by the couch. Can we just have a quinceanera instead? It's much easier to become a Latin woman that way. <laughs> I attempt my first tortilla. Wet, more like douse the flour. Run it over my hands. Why is everybody staring? I'm aware that I'm making a mess. This is a mess. It looks lumpy and rigid. I go sit back down and wait for the food. <laughs> I have failed at the Hispanic exam. I am like my tortilla, a failure. Something that wet hands and flour cannot fix. See, I'm not fully salvadoreña. I'm black and Basque, too. And while my name is as Hispanic as you can get it, Reina Privado, Queen Private, I don't speak a lick of it. In fact, I've often mistaken for everything but it. I can roll my tongue just like the rest of them, but apparently I'm not good at bachata, nor do I want to watch soccer all day. The only real Hispanic music I listen to is Selena, but even that is a rarity. Can you blame me for loving cornbread and black men more than pupusas and migos? So forgive me for my lack of identification when I've been miseducated left unacquainted with El Salvador and my wet back daddy who I blame for this tragedy, but it's painful. I want to speak to my abuelita before she dies. Tell her about her granddaughter. I want to ask her about my family. Ask her about Kelepa. Ask her about my daddy and how he got to be so brick wall and stone statue silent. I want to tell her I remember the day he left. I was five and I stood in the doorway of the bedroom and said, Daddy, where are you going? To no reply. From then on, I knew I'd be all my mother's daughter as I watched my Salvadorian inheritance drive away with a hussy in a red car. Tia Ada, Sandra, and some unknown auntie huddle over a bowl of flour. I've been invited to join them many times in this ceremony, but I am reminded of my likeness to my tortilla. A failure. Something that wet hands and flour cannot fix. Thank you.